Hey y'all, this is Dana. Welcome to my channel. I am back working on my swap this morning. It is Saturday morning, already February 18th, y'all. Can you believe it? February 18th already. I'm just shocked. So, I'm working on my swap, and I th I've got like nine items plus some store-bought items. So, I think I might stop at that and just work on um, just some cutesy pretty things. Um, hold on, let me get my pokey tool here for my swap and to put in my box. Um, but, so anyway, I recently made like my nameplate and I put it on my locker at work. By the way, I won the prize, me and two other people. So that was fun. And so I thought what I would do is, this is like a large embellishment for my partner to keep in her room or whatever she chooses to do with it. She can put it on the front of a nice notebook. She can do so much with it. But I decided to do the D with her name on it. Now, granted, her name is Deanna. My name is Dina. We're both spelled like Deanna. But her A is capitalized and mine is not. So I thought I would do her name for her and it would be something nice to put in the top of the box. So anyway, I've already gone ahead and cut out my pieces and um, I'm really not really sure. Let me see if it tells me, cancel the cut, yes. Let me see if it tells me what the name of the font is that I used. Um, I'm not really sure what the name of the font. I think it's just like a Cricut. Um, cursive font is what I used and so I think it's just really pretty and then I used um, the offset feature in Cricut Design Space and I created three shadows for my word and then I just have a letter I just cut a letter out and I utilized this the offset by um, and making extra layers on here so it'd be bigger and bigger and so yeah, I think it'll be cute and a nice little addition to my box. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna just, I'm just gonna take you along crafting with me today. I'm gonna go ahead and add glue. Now, I'll be honest, this is the second time I've filmed this because when I put the glue, I put a little too much and my, my layer after this one is gold and it, really really just smushed all over the gold and I want the gold to look pretty so this time I'm going to kind of smooth out I'm going to smooth out the glue so it won't go anywhere and I'm going to gently set it down where it needs to go and I'm going to wipe off my hands with a baby wipe here I've seen many youtubers have baby wipes and I think it's a pretty smart idea to have them in your space. Okay, so that looks good. I'm just gonna get that pressed down. And I'm gonna do the rest. This is a super simple, something simple, but very pretty to add into your swap. So uh, the last time I had my scrapbook.com order, um, I was so in love with it and everything. Y'all, I love Doodle Pops and I ordered a few more. It'll come this week. I didn't order any more of the paper, at least I don't think I did. I think I deleted it out of my cart because I decided, you know what, I don't need it. But I did order some more Doodle Pops because I want to start making memory decks out of Doodle Pops. I think that the Doodle Pops um, will be darling as memory decks. Okay, I'm going to lay this one down. Try not to touch the gold part with a glue finger. So I'm just going to do the best I can. Let me wipe off. I'm just trying to keep it from getting glue. Pressing it down. Isn't that pretty with the gold and the, the white glitter? I think it's very pretty. See? So pretty. And it really is better than me trying to do it this way and get glue smudges everywhere. I didn't like that. I've only got one that's a little bit right there, so I can live with that. Okay, so the next one is going to be white. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add my glue. Make sure you get glue all around the edges. 
that way it will lay down. Okay, looking pretty. And then the last one I'm doing this kind of a shimmery, very light pink. It's going to be my last layer for this and then we'll let this dry nice and flat. You know, I've had my locker at work decorated for a bit and I'm thinking about taking it down and making something different. You know, sometimes you wanna change. Maybe I'll just change the font of my name. I'll just keep my name or maybe I'll do something like, maybe I'll change it with the seasons. That would be good. Okay. So I see a little gold, a little right there. Let me wipe that. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? So right now I'm just going to move these over and I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab some of my magnets and I'm going to hold this down. I want it to be nice and flat. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're going to let that get good and dry. I think I need another one up here. Maybe another one up here. Okay. So now we're gonna disassemble these. So when I cut the white and the gold, I realize that they're close to the same size and I have to determine which color I want. I think I wanna do the white because I'll have another gold piece. So I think that I'll do the white, save the piece of gold for something else. So I'm gonna start with the smaller letter Go ahead and my glue. Hope everybody is having a great Saturday. I slept a little longer this morning. The hubby actually came to say goodbye to me before he went to work. And um, oh, look at that. I didn't put I put I should put the glue on the gold first so I'm gonna grab the paint piece that this one is gonna go on actually no I didn't I did it right oh, almost messed up not really a mess up but you know get that okay there we go now I'm gonna grab my pink piece it's gonna go here I kind of make the offset a little bit smaller, but that's okay. I think it looks good. I'm going to leave it. Yeah, I slept a little bit longer. I was just really tired, and it was a hard work week. I mean, even though maybe some days weren't as busy as others, you know, your just, body's just tired. So... Getting that placed where it needs to go. Thank you for all the sweet comments on my policy envelope video yesterday. It's been a while since I made policy envelopes. And sometimes it's nice to go back to the basics. You know, we always try to find new things to create so we don't repeat what we've made before, but y'all, I got 1,500 videos on my channel approximately, and eventually you're going to have to repeat something. So I decided yesterday, you know what, that'd be something nice to add in with my for my swap, and I might as well share it. So thank you to everyone that has watched that and commented. I appreciate it. And thank you for everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I've noticed... I've gained a few, but then I lose a few, and I gain a few, and I lose a few, and you know, I think that's just the nature of the game, and that's okay. So if you have unsubscribed, um, I hope I can win you back. Okay, last layer. Just getting prettier and prettier with all these layers. My sister, you know what I think it's today, 
My sister has been preparing for a tea party at her church. And you know, I was thinking about calling her, but you know what? I think that she is at her tea. Is the tea party, was it yesterday or maybe today? If it's yesterday, I'll have to call her and see how it went. But she and my niece, um, they were making decorations for their table. My sister is so creative and um, she hand cuts everything. I gave her my Cricut expression when I got my Cricut Air 2 before and she has a struggle on remembering how to use it, but she hand makes everything. Okay, I'm gonna use my magnets. Make sure I can get this one nice and flat. These magnets really come in handy, y'all. They really do. See how nice and flat that is? That looks really good. I like that, I like that a lot. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add, like I'm, on the other one that I did, I put a flower. Um, I think I might do a flower or maybe just one of the bows that I've been utilizing. I've just really been creating lots of bows and a lot of the angel wing bows, I love them. And so I'm thinking that I might do just a bow. I want it to be something simple. And um, yeah, this is like a large embellishment, y'all. And she could use it for whatever she wants. So let me grab my either flower or bow and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I've decided on the bow and I'm gonna go with this kind of pink and gold um, paper. And I have had this paper collection forever and little by little is getting down to hardly nothing. This is the name, it's Blush Crafting gold, Rose Gold. It's a DCWB and it looks like at one time I got it a Tuesday morning. So um, I think that's the one I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna use. And I was gonna just do a solid gold, but I decided I think that this would be really pretty to have a print. And then I have, still have a sheet of these cut aparts in this collection. And so I found this one and it says, Hello Sunshine. So I think I might add it somewhere on my letter here. That way then it could be a true embellishment. Okay, so go ahead I've got this cut out I am using of course the angel wing bow die and I love it and so I have used it and used it and there's so many people that are excited about it in fact I was chatting with Katrina this morning and she said she said she got her bow die and she's going to be making bows today so happy bow making friend happy bow making Okay, so got my pieces. Let me grab my bone folder. Of course, y'all have seen me do this before, but we'll just keep rolling here. And I'm just gonna add dollop of glue, dollop of glue. I'm gonna get these pressed down and down. Just gonna hold those in place. It's already already pretty. Let me make sure I'm not losing you over here. I want to make sure you can see everything. And so, y'all, I have a question. If you record videos, I I've always recorded with a tripod next to me, and it's always got to be to my left. And I've been thinking about doing an overhead one, so it's less likely to be out of frame. Um, and I don't know how I'm gonna like that, but if you record videos, let me know which one you use. I wanna make sure it's something good and sturdy that doesn't wiggle on my table or anything like that. So if you make videos, um, if you would, tell me which one, which tripod or which um, which do you use. Now I record on my phone. I have a phone, I have a iMax Pro, uh, iPro Max or iPhone Pro Max 14, iPhone 14. That's what I have. I'll get it out eventually. Um, so I have the 14 and so forth. I think it records pretty well. It's easy. I can just use iMovie and put my videos together. One day I might become fancy and get a camera. Um, but for right now, I'll just keep doing this. It's working. Um, iMovie doesn't always have as many features as I was like when like adding, you know, lettering on my videos and different things like that. You can only do it certain times or whatever. And maybe there's another iMovie that's a little bit more advanced than what came on my phone. 
So if you know that, let me know. If you know if there is another iMovie that maybe I can utilize to, to, to uh, put my videos together, to edit them, I would really love your suggestions. Okay, getting this together. Let me grab my bone folder. We'll just press this down. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing the overhead and I, I've been thinking about it for a while, but I just don't know which one to buy. So if you have a suggestion or if you use an overhead, if you could link it below, if it's an Amazon find, I would love it if you could help me out on that. So I would like to, to do the overhead, maybe less likely for me to bump it when I'm working and recording. I had one one time that my daughter had bought me for Christmas, but it didn't work out very good because it wiggled. Every time the, my table would wiggle or whatever, it would move. And I want to make sure it's something still sturdy. Okay, getting these pressed down. That bow is beautiful. Look at that. I don't really think it needs anything. I'm not going to put any jimmies or anything like that on there. I think it's just pretty the way it is. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's move my magnets. And I do have my pink mat today over my glass mat, which the glass mat is magnetic. And these magnets still work well. They're not as strong, but they still work really well. Um, so let me move them out of the way now. And I'm thinking that I might, because I want, I'm going to layer this up, and I think I want to put... I think I want to put the name down below and maybe a hello sunshine like right in here and maybe I'll put the bow down below and I'm thinking that's what I want to do let me layer this one up really fast yeah let me layer this one up okay I'm gonna grab my trimmer because I need to make sure everything's nice and pretty and straight so does everybody have any plans today my husband and I, we were going to go to Choctaw Casino in Oklahoma, but because um, we didn't go out really for Valentine's, we did go out to lunch on Valentine's, um, but he had told me that maybe we'll go to Choctaw, but I hate wasting money like that and, you know, you got to pay your bills first. So, okay, I like that. That looks good. So I'm thinking that we might not. I might just make a dinner at home. Um, he loves it when I make steak, mushrooms, and onions. Yes, with the gold. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm thinking that that's what I will make. I'll have to make a quick run to our grocery store on the corner. And I might make some steak, mushrooms, and onions. And he loves it when I make that. And... Um, so I'm thinking, because I wrote him today and said, oh, we don't have to go. Because on Saturdays, my husband, you know, he works in a shop and he is so tired on Saturdays when he comes home, y'all. It's just, if your husband works like a manual job, like, like my husband does, it's, it's Saturdays is the busiest day and he is exhausted when he comes home. Okay, I'm going to try to clean this off a little bit. I got a little extra glue on the edge. So, the only time we could have went to the casino would be tonight, and I don't want him to be too tired, number one, because we have to drive to Oklahoma. It's only a couple, two, three hours, and it would be, an, it's a nice road trip. Not bad, I mean, not long, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two, maybe, from our house. You know. um, I don't know, as of right now, I'm thinking that we will probably not go. We'll stay at home, and... There's a movie I want to watch. It's on Amazon Prime. I can't remember what it's called, but it has Katie Holmes. And it has the guy that was on. Okay, so I like this. Let me make sure. Let me use my little thing here. I gotta get that extra glue off. Okay. Okay, so that looks pretty. And I think I'll just put it like up here. So I think the first thing to do is to get the, the name down. 
Yeah, that movie. I can't remember the name of it. I happened to see it. It showed up like on a story or something on my Facebook. And so, yeah, I think that'll be that it might be a good movie to watch later. So maybe we'll just do that. If he comes home and showers and we eat and we just relax on our couch under blankets together and it's, y'all, you know, I just love being with him. You know, he's my love for this year is 40 years, 40 years. I hope that if you have a long marriage, I hope that, you know, I mean, you know how I feel, you know, I mean, yeah, we get mad at each other sometimes, but it's, we're human and this is how it is. Okay. So I'm thinking of what kind of glue I want to use. I'm thinking I might use hot glue. Maybe, maybe. So under this area. I'll, I'll stick that one down first. since it's on that glitter paper, and then I'll lift up the edge of this one. So, let me know if you have a significant other, or what did you do for your, for Valentine's? And, um, so, it's always fun just to, you know, I mean, even though it's Valentine's and you're, you should just show you love each other every day of the year, you know. Okay, this is going to go about right here. And I think I put that down a little lower than I was going to, but I think it still looks really nice. So. Pressing that one down. A little glue seepage right there that I can see. So I'm going to use my bone folder and try to get it, get it there. Pretty, 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 pretty. And then I'm going to add, it's going to go right, I think I'll do it just like about like this. So pretty. It's a huge embellishment. I love it. This is called the big embellishment. Love it. Okay, so I think about right there. So I'm gonna add my glue. Uh oh, my hot glue stick is running out. Let me grab another one. Y'all, I go through so much hot glue sticks. Get that in there. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Put this, I'm gonna lift that up a little bit. Look at that. So cute. I'm like, let me see if I can get this extra excess glue off right here so it's not on the back. I guess it's on the back. It don't matter. I think it's, it'll be fine. I'll leave it. And look at that. That is stinking darling. Look at that. It's a large embellishment, y'all. That's what this is. I'm going to keep my magnets on it for a little longer. I want to make sure everything dries, still continues to dry nice and flat. But I love this. I think it turned out so cute. So, so cute. So, let me see here. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? It's just so pretty. My partner can put it in her craft room. And it's a large embellishment, y'all. Probably one of the biggest you'll make. So anyway, I am happy with it. I'm loving the way it turned out. The colors look perfect. And it, the, I've done the pink theme in my swap. So anyway, I think I'm about ready to box up my swap. And um, and um, yeah, then I will bring you along while I'm boxing up. And hopefully my partner will enjoy this. I'm hoping to get this out the door Monday. I can't do it today because the mail's already come. In my town, the mail, mail, um, the, the post office is only open from 8 to 10 <laughs> on a Saturday. So anyway, so that's okay. I'll get this out Monday and hopefully by Thursday, my partner will be able to enjoy what I've sent her. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching and I appreciate you stopping by. Love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.